Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mega Modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again. I'm going to play as the Hunter this time. I already did my starting stuff. We're starting with the AK-94. Um, I can't remember how good this thing is, but it's interesting. And we also start with a combat knife. Um, and yeah, let's see what this thing does. Um, in the galaxy at large, knife kills are considered demonstrations of extreme skill. Many bounty hunters, soldiers, and general vagabonds often forego more effective weaponry and herbs again that prestige. We'll never know. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll find out as we uh, as we use it. I'm sure it'll be pretty immediately obvious when we uh, get in there. But let's see, shall we? Let's see. But yeah, I apologise. There was another episode earlier in the week. There was a bug with uh, Enter the Gungeon that just caused my game to lag like fucking crazy. Like, like 10 FPS. Um, but it was an issue with Expand the Gungeon that has since been fixed. So... No problem. We're also on Laura Ross level three now. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, what does knife do again? Let's uh, let's let's swipe at an enemy and see. Okay, simple as it's a very 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 short cooldown knife swipe. Ain't bad at all. It also looks to have quite a lot of synergies, which is of course quite nice. And this thing just seems to be a regular old AK with an AK slapped on the back of it with twice the amount of ammunition. So. It does use two pair bullet though, so it's not really twice the amount. Ah, damn it. It's quite short range, but I'm going to try and use this knife a good bit. It seems it seems fun to use. It seems like a fun thing to use. Whip. Oh, ho, ho. That was a risky one, that was, but I had to go for it. Oh, God. That attack scares me. And we get ourselves... Ooh, Table Tech Scythe. Very nice. Table tech sight is probably my favourite table tech. Um, just because firing three times the amount of bullets. Anyone that knows me, anyone that's watched me play for any length of time, if I'm firing more bullets, I'm having more fun. Uh, we also get this thing, which isn't particularly good, but it's not terrible. Uh, this is more of a, a knockback based weapon. Where we're just going to be knocking enemies into pits and stuff. I imagine with uh, Table Tech Sight, it does enough damage to be useful. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's probably not going to be a gun we use a lot of, I'll be honest. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I AK leveled up. I kind of forgot that this AK ranks up as you use it. Yeah, th this is the AK that now it's three AKs and it has more ammo. I, I completely forgot it did this. So eventually it gets to the... I think it maxes out at quad AK. But it's gained fire rate at this point. It's it's pretty it's a pretty awesome idea for, an, uh, for a gun, to be honest. I really, really, really like it. So I'll wipe that guy away. I mean, the AK is just a, is like a standard, really fun gun to use in general. So, having it be even more so of what it already is, ain't bad to me at all. Oh my god, the table tech sight. It's so good, man. So good. Oh god, Gorgon's gaze there. Almost got me. We do have Vampire Lady here. We also have DDR, which... Don't remember how good that is, but I'm going to say that it's good. I'll take it. Okay, so if we're moving up, we get, uh, I think that's fire? No. I don't know what, what stat that is. Fire it? That's reload. That's damage. I don't know what right is. Is right dodge roll? I don't know. I'm not sure. Either way, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Let this little lady munch on my booty a little bit more. Take another chunk out. Give me that. But yeah, I'm not going to actively try and use the DDR specifically. Um, but I will uh, obviously get the bonuses from it here and there. They will help. Somewhat. Don't mind having them whatsoever. For, for a cheap item, it's, it's pretty good. 
like a, a deep what, what, what I think is a deep quality item. I like the uh, the ability to swipe here and there. Really nice. Well, just feels satisfying. It really does. Ah, that was a very bad hit on my behalf. Especially when there's a, a woman to suck my blood. I really don't like getting hit when there's uh, better things for it to go to. Is this ranked up again now? Yes, it has. It has become the quad AK. Oh, a black chest. Oh, it's a seven leaf clover. Wow, we. Okay. Okay. It's the first time I've had one of those in a good while. Now, this thing, at this point, is burning through ammo. Like, it's it's actually kind of worse now that we have uh, now that we have more AKs attached to it, because it just burns through ammo so much quicker. But when we refill it, we fill, up, fill it up with more. We got keys as well, so we can go to the jungle now. Awesome. And we got a synergy with whatever this is. Nice. The Lone Star. Dual loader. Is that what that said? Dual loader? Single lever um, action rifle. Dual loader, yeah. Interesting. Excited to see what that is. Hey, we got the easy room as well, which gives us it for free. I appreciate that game. I appreciate that. Good, burn our tree down and head on down. Now, this floor has an extra chest, which is the main reason I'm going down here. But I'm not actually sure if the extra chest will be affected by Seven Leaf Clover. I think it will, but I'm not entirely sure because it's not a true item room. It's a fake item room. So it might, well, chest room, should I say. So it might not function the same way with Seven Leaf Clover. I guess we'll see. Uh, but either way, extra floor with seven leaf clover. I have to go to an extra floor. I'm very, very happy we got extra keys there. And we've even got one more key to automatically be able to open a chest. So we're going to get one here, one from the shop. And then if we get another one, we can open the third chest as well. But like I said, the third chest might not even be affected. But either way, first floor seven leaf clover. It is the first time I've had that in a very long time. It's the first time I've had seven leaf clover in a very long time. Full stop. But having it on the first floor, certainly the first time in a while. But this thing, I think I'm going to like. Uh, now, it seems to be leaving stars about. I'm not entirely sure what they do. And I'm also not entirely sure as to... Um... Drop our trees down here. Get some extra money. Uh, I'm also not entirely sure as to what our synergy does. Oh, okay. Wait, so I don't know why those stars didn't split there. So, that, I think that's what our synergy does. Uh, unless, actually, it's called the Lone Star. That might just be what it does in general. I guess we'll find out when we get tables. Okay, I can shoot the stars in order to crack them open, look. I see. But can I? do I have to shoot through them or do I have to shoot on them? Okay, I just have to shoot through them and they explode. It seems a little inconsistent, but really fun idea for a weapon. I like it. I really like it. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's something to do with tables that's going to affect it, or if I'm getting something out of the synergy as a base. It's why the game needs an Ammonomicon entry book for synergies. I mean, we might be able to see what the synergy does by hovering over it, but I doubt it. Uh, it just says dual loader, yeah. Doesn't give us any more details than that. Oh shit. That was really unfair, game. <laughs> it just spawned me in inside a ton of fire. It doesn't seem to do anything specific, so may maybe the, the deal is just that with the dual loader, it's spawning more stars, potentially. Chop down our trees where we can. Try and get a little bit of extra money. But yeah, so far, gotta say, really, really, really like this item. I think the stars from the, what, what, what does this normally come from? The Crescent are an underutilized thing. And one of my favorite things in modding is when modders go the extra mile to take something that already exists in the game and utilize it more heavily. 
How did I not get hit there? Yeah, I think it's I think it's definitely something to do with why we're getting so many more stars here, the synergy. So we are getting a lot, and I I can't imagine that this is how the, the how it normally functions, right? Also, this thing has a lot of ammo. I like it. That was an interesting room. Uh, we'll take that on our AK. We can chop down some of these trees with this, actually, with the AK. Lots of extra money. You can get health out of these as well. Very worthwhile to shoot them down. Obviously, it's a bit time-consuming, but worth it. There's some extra health there, look. I was, just, I was just about to say then, oh my god, a black chest, and I, I remembered. That's what the Gondromeda, that's what the, um, the, the the Clover does, you moron. <laughs> I was like, oh, what the hell, what are the chances? I'm like, no, no, cool. The chances were about 50-50 between red or black. Whoa, oh, we've leveled up to the AK Affinity now. Okay. Awesome. I did not know that this that this was the last level of this thing. Okay, this thing became a lot better in my eyes now. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, our gun for a little while here, I think. Stop spawning me in the goddamn fires game. It's pretty rude. Also, really? This much fire between me and the enemy. Did you have to? I will still use the Lone Star here and there, though, because I just enjoy it. I don't want to neglect too much my other guns, especially with getting black chests and stuff. I'm going to be getting a lot of cool guns. I want to make sure not to just use the infinite ammo weapon. I, I really didn't, like, feel like this music fit very well with the floor when I first heard it. I liked the music, but I was like, eh, hey, it's not it's not too fitting for the jungle. But honestly, the more I played this floor, even though it's a little more relaxed than I'd expect, I really like it. I really, really like it. I think it works quite well. Man, come on now. They're just silly. This is- I can't! There's so much fire, game! Look at these- the goddamn curse of flames! This is bullshit! <laughs> you can't just spawn that much fire on the goddamn door! Stop setting me on fire as I walk through the door! This is bullshit! Is this thing, like, getting more and more fire rate, or is it just to do with my DDR every now and again? I'm sorry, Green Chest, but you are fairly low on my list of priorities right now. There's our other Black Chest, lovely. The gun as well, of course. Dude, man, there's so much fucking room for you to spawn fire on. Why do you have to spawn literally three of the fires directly at the door of the room? That, that just feels like you're doing it on purpose, game. There's so much space. If anyone knows how to make sure the fire doesn't spawn near the door, please let, let, let Never Named know, because he said he wasn't sure how to do that, and I'd love, love, love for the Curse of Flames to stop spawning it on the goddamn doors. <laughs> it just feels a bit mean. Unfortunately, I can't pop those stars with other guns, but I kind of understand that somewhat. It's a little hard to pop the stars with control, uh, to be honest, because of the auto, the aim assist aiming directly at the enemies, but still really cool. Really good idea for a weapon. I like it a lot. God damn, really? We still haven't found our fucking shop? Like right there, I tried to aim for the star and it just aimed for the enemy that was close. Away for now. Look 
few Navis in here. Do people say Navi or Navi? I've always heard it as Navi. Then again, that's just because I've mainly heard Americans say it, so... It might be slightly skewed. I've never really played any of the old Zelda games. I played one on my Wii. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Ocarina of Time. No, no, I think, I think it was Majora's Mask, actually. And I didn't play it a lot. <laughs> I don't think I completed it. Finally found the shop. Ammo Flower, I remember being pretty good. What does Ammo Flower do again? Guns uh, are reloaded when their clip is empty. semi auto guns become automatic. Um, charged guns auto-fire also slightly increases reload speed. Okay, pretty good stuff. Yeah, so semi has become full auto. I like that. Oh, another star-based weapon. So I was just saying about how, like, that mechanic's reasonably underutilized, and it's like, well, here you go. Shame these things don't have a synergy, but they're from two different mods, so I kind of get why they don't, but that'd be cool. Why, uh, it's why I'm hoping that a cross-mod synergy mod comes out at some point. Dude, with the fucking fire on the door again. This is just not funny. <laughs> like, I like, I like the curse as having fire as a hazard. <laughs> it's, it's a real bitch when it just, like, says, oh, nope, you're pending right at the door. This is a very good weapon, by the way. I mean, it is S tier, so it goddamn should be. Oh, no, it did affect this chest. And we get mirrored bullets. All bullets are doubled, but doubles the user's spread. I mean, I can handle that, I think. Oh my lord. A lot of lag for a hot second there. Are you gone? Oh, you're up there, I see. Wow, that was a very quick kill. Another table tech. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab this to try and go to the belly of the beast. Oh, wait, I can't. It requires a key. Ugh. Those rooms requiring keys is just gross. Just gross. But yes. Very, very, very happy with how this run's going thus far. I mean, the mirrored bullets really, really adds to this. Now, I wonder if the lone star will create double stars. It seems to be on kill, so I don't think it will, but it'd be cool if it did. I guess we gotta find out. Doesn't. Oh, wait, no. I think it does. Th those two stars layered on top of each other there. Slightly hard to tell. That's a lot of stars right there. This thing with bouncy bullets would be nuts, because you'd be, like, hitting all the stars way more often. I'm hoping we get something that adds bouncy bullets at some point. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty darn good. This is, like, our, our like, true killer. I forgot we had table tech, uh... Give me that. What the fuck? Um, is that part of the synergy, or is that... I genuinely don't know if that's part of the synergy or if that's part of Ammo Flower doing that. But that was crazy. Also, we have like three curse and we've had a curse on every single floor. Come on, game. Why? Another chest. I just hope we get enough keys to keep up with the demand. I mean, hopefully we'll just get skeleton key eventually. Or like the A key. Okay, okay. Mini boss here.
Good, got our shop key. Another table tech. I'm gonna buy it because just, yeah, more table techs, please. Holy hell, the pillar rocket. I'm intrigued by this thing. I'm guessing it's gonna be a charge up weapon. It is not. Oh lord. This thing's fucking crazy. It fires a rocket that fires bullets. Also, that animation was pretty awesome. Sadly, no chest from this guy or key. Wasn't really expecting a key, I'll be honest, but would have been nice. That's so fucking crazy. The, oh wait, the rocket's controlled by me as well. I could just keep the rocket in the air. That's fucking crazy. That's, that's awesome. I mean, it, obviously it's firing two rockets as well, each shot, so that's even nuttier. The Volva bullets there. I'm gonna take the ammo for this. Sadly, no extra keys. Probably gonna be lacking a key here, which will be very sad, but it is what it is. Oh, really? Spawn a grenade on me, thanks. Is this firing four? I think this was already firing two and now it's firing four. This thing's crazy. This thing's absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, still need to check the, the Lone Star bug or whatever the hell that was. I mean, we at least get one for free. We got, um, whatever the hell this is. Toothy bullets. Bullets have a chance to bleed enemies, causing them to leave damaging blood cr uh, creep behind. Stuff. Please don't let, make me have to leave a black chest. I'll be so sad. So we do have one of these here. So I flip this and I go... <clears throat> wow, that's one bullet. What the hell? <laughs> Fuck. I don't know what's up with that, but I like it. Don't shoot the goddamn skulls game. No, no key. Um, I guess I can look for secret room. I'm pretty sure I have that thing on that just makes the, the wall cracks visible, so I guess I should just walk around for the cracks. But I'm still going to wall check anyways, because I have a pretty good gun for it that's fairly ammo efficient. Good, good. This thing, need, this thing doesn't even need to reload. This thing's amazing. I mean, we get, a, we get an item. Ooh, funky. But unfortunately, the first of potentially many black chests lost to the ether. So sad to see one go. But at least there was a, a, a mirror in the room for us to get something. Right, next floor, let's go. So sad.
Too bad. So sad. But still, regardless, this run is slapping. Even if we don't have that. I'm liking the fact that we've got a good few bullet upgrades as well. This thing is like our best, like this is going to be our boss killer. So good. This thing's just like amazing. This thing's just so, so good. Covers the room in really high damaging shots. Very, very ammo efficient. Just all round. Very good weapon. Gotta be careful of my curse at the minute. My curse is pretty high. Hit. What a strange and annoying room. Oh, hello. We have a challenge. Gonna make me use a pea shooter, isn't it? Nah, oh, Derringer. I knew it was gonna make me do one of the challenges where it makes me use a really crappy weapon. It's actually a surprisingly annoying room for this challenge as well. Luckily, not too hard though. Gave us a passive item, which I like. Nano machines. Actually fantastic. Hello, another chest. Please, please shop. Have two keys in it for me. You know you want to. Okay, that's just an effect of the, um, that's just an effect of the lotus flower for some reason. I'm not sure why, but. Hello, shrine that I can't use again. How are you today? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, look, I watch my ammo as well. Like, 468. Like, you fired all those shots. Can't lose any ammo for it. Decent stuff there, decent stuff. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just had an idea. I just had an interesting idea. All I need to try it is a table. Come on, game. Give me one if you dare. Give me one if you dare. Right, ammo-wise, probably this thing again. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> I was really hoping it'd just fire like a bazillion rockets. Not only do we get double damage, but we fire about a bazillion shots. <laughs> we found our shop. Sadly, only one key, though. That is depressing. <gasps> Fuck you, game. How dare you? What does the keychain do again? I'm going to have to go, go see. Does it give us one key per floor? Because if it does, it's really good. Once more into the breach. Uh, uh, items. Passive items. Where's that keychain? Where that keychain do we at? Keychain has a 25% chance to double collected key pickup. Don't know if it's good enough, but goddamn the A key is right goddamn there. Basically, right now, I'm going to look through the entire floor and see if I either get more keys or a way to steal. Whoa. Big boy explosion. Holy hell. I thought it was the one that gave me... I, th I think I'm thinking of spare key. It gives you one key a floor. Damn you, game. I'm gonna have to let it go. Game's so fucking rude. This better give me two keys, otherwise I'm gonna be super, super sad. 
But why? Oh, there you go. I said, why isn't it firing at the box? Ah, for fuck's sake, I got hit folks who too fucking hard on the goddamn rocket. Oh, it didn't give me any keys! Ugh. My spaghetti is truly upset. No way to steal it either. Bugger you, mister. Bugger you. Quickly check potential secret room places, although I don't think there's one in this room. I'm very upset right now. I'm very upset. <laughs> God damn it, I need those keys, game. I have to, like, trade a black chest every floor. I did get the tool gun, though. Which I genuinely can't remember what this does, but we'll have a look. Cycles firing mode. An incredibly advanced piece of technology capable of manipulating reality around you. Decrease. Apply status. Spawn kin. Spawn table. You don't say. You don't say. Spawn barrel. A race. Increase. Decrease. Spawn table's probably the better one for us right now. What does a race do? I'm going to go spawn table. Seems fun. Super, super upset to be leaving this floor without the air key, I've got to say. But it is what it is. Just, just game. Just give me a few more keys a floor, please. I'm, I'm missing out on a black chest every floor at the minute. And that's just depressing. I mean, I realise I'm getting a black chest every floor at the same time, so I can't be too upset. But, like, come on. Also, we're getting really lucky with, like, no, normally it's like a 50-50 between red or black chest with uh, with seven leaf clover, but we're getting like all black chests at the moment. Oh, we got Kessa Butterfingers, bollocks. Just just, just try and not get hit here. Don't fuck around with our tool gun for, for tables. I'll use that for my bosses. This gun's the best thing we can use for clearing rooms right now. And so we shall. <gasps> Game, you did it. You gave me a key. Fill this thing up again. <laughs> Infinite tables, baby. Infinite tables. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Fill the room up with tables, and then destroy everything. <laughs> Takes us like a few ammo each time. 
pretty crazy combo that I bet never named, never even thought of. That this never even occurred to him. This could be a possibility. It's it's a pretty like unique synergy, so I get why. It's a, it's a complete edge case, but I, I love it. Right, so what I want to do here is I want to go right in here. Table, followed by tables, followed by... I did get hit there, but I'll be honest, I don't care. Uh, oh, fucking Butterfingers got me. Fuck you, Butterfingers. Where the hell's my rocket launcher? I don't even know what that thing was called. Oh, there it is. I see it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Hey, it gave me a key as well. Holy shit. Eye patch. More damage. Hell yes. A lot, a lot more spread. But... More damage is lovely. Kershula. Like that, that's like a thousand rockets right there. <laughs> that's a, that's a pretty, pretty funky combo I've managed to figure out there. <laughs> I like that. Oh. How do I always discover these utterly broken synergies? Like, what is it about the way that I play that just, I just attract this nonsense? But like, other people that play, like, Gungeon Modded on a regular basis, do you come across this sort of shit, or is it just me? Because I seem to come across it, like, every other video, or sometimes even every video. It's actually nuts. Like, it's, it's obscene how broken the game gets when I play it. Like, so, not only do we have this, this broken-ass table tech site synergy thing going on that's causing... Oh, the key, awesome. Yeah, not only do we have this broken-ass uh, table tech site thing, also litchy eye bullets, are you kidding me? Plus 30% damage. Okay. Ah! What? What happened to my dog? Did I just fucking eat my dog? Why? What happened to my dog? What happened to my dog? Yeah, Lichy Eye Bullets is, uh, of course, something pretty crazy for us, too. That's gonna make some of our guns even better. The spread on that thing. The spread that we've got right now is crazy. I'm just checking my synergies right now. <laughs> Fucking spread on that, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that spread. Like with this gun, the spread doesn't matter, which is good. Oh god! He's launching the stars back at me. I didn't think about that. No, thank you. But this thing does have a synergy. I just don't know what it is. Again, why we need an Amanomicon page for synergies. Couldn't have to look them up every damn time. It's like my number one mod I want to see in Dungeon. This thing breaks DPS cap, right? Uh, oh wait, no, this just applies Venom. It's still good though. Right, down we go.
course, we'll be doing the Lich and we'll be flipping out our tables, rolling out the red carpet for him. And honestly, I think I think the pillar launcher thing is is like the best thing that we have. But yeah, it seems that the 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 cult of the lamb gun little crown allows us to sacrifice our followers for damage, which is actually a pretty cool idea. I just didn't intentionally kill my dog. <laughs> it was a little bit upsetting, but it's a really cool idea. I like it a lot. Uh, what do I want to use here? Let, yeah, let's use the basilisk for a little bit here. Honestly, our spread is just fucking really, really crazy now. To the point where it's not even that easy to hit our, like, two main bullets. <clears throat> Beautiful. Also, Devolver bullets have been paying, paying off quite well. Hello, Table Tech buddy. Um... I think I will buy portable table device. <laughs> table tech heat, table tech money. Hold up. Wait a minute. Not that I need all this money, but interesting nonetheless. Now, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this a few times. Just to... Oh, really, I had to reload there. That was unfortunately pretty pointless. And then I'm going to get rid of table tech money, just so it doesn't automatically flip all the tables, because that's actually not very useful for us. I kind of want to just use this thing, to be honest. Oh my god, I've, I've completely blocked the way with tables here. Too dark in here, too dark. But yeah, this is this is kind of wild. This gun just on its own seems kind of cracked. Also, I guess it's 7.5 now, we are getting a lot of jammed enemies. A lot of jammed enemies. That was a very bad roll by me. Um Ammo-wise, where are we looking? Probably this thing. And in turn, that fills up a bunch of other stuff. That's, that's a big boy. Look at that guy. Look at the size of that chonkster. The darkness is slightly annoying, but we can deal. Okay, that guy's apparently dead. He doesn't look it, but apparently he is. What the hell's left in here? Uh, is it just you, no? Apparently something else in here? You've been chasing me this whole time? Okay, hello. Bullet friend. Hello, hello. Um, I mean, why not buy it all at this point? It's the last shot. This thing with this seems like it could be, yeah, pretty wild. <laughs> This thing seems pretty good in general, with all the synergies. Lich eye bullets is really making this run 
even better and even crazier than it already was. Um, well, this thing's like full auto now. <laughs> kind of interesting. I don't have to mess around with this thing. I just it just lets off when it's ready. It's really nice actually. It makes this thing kind of crazy. It's already very good, but like with the synergies, with the auto fire. I need to be using this more often as well. I keep forgetting that I can table on demand. Die, fiend. For some reason, some enemies are like dying but not dying. They clearly are dead, but their, their, their body, their alive body is still very much there. That was a very bad hit by me then, wow. Um, I think Stargun, like this one, this guy's just... Oh wait, can I do something with him? Oh shit! And then I can... Wow. So lose 25 ammo. And then... But why can't I... Why can't I sacrifice him? It won't let me sacrifice this guy. But... This is... This... This weapon... Is so much cooler than I thought. Whoever made this... Let me go find out. Because mad props to whoever made this. This is insanely good. Special API, of course it is. Everything that he makes is fucking masterful. God damn. So fucking cool. Okay, um Why do I why do I now have double max ammo on everything? Is that one of the synergies that I managed to get? With like this I, th I think it's a synergy with smileys, maybe. This thing has 1,200 ammo now. Wow. That is obscene. <laughs> this is my favourite weapon to use this sort of whole situation with. Where is it, guys? Now, Red and Coil, do you work with Table? Yes, I think. Oh, yeah, you kind of do. The homing shots you fire certainly work. What exactly is going on in this room? Um... Still though, we got the star thing's too good. There's a star gun waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet you, but he's frying the lich right now, or getting ready to at least. The darkness is really annoying. I have to say, <laughs> like it's, it's it's a curse, so it's meant to be, but like it's throwing me off so much. Um, get 400 ammo in this thing. What? There's an ammo in here. Apparently. God knows where. There it is. 400 ammo in this bad boy. Literally just a gun for spawning tables. That is all. <laughs> this is so fun. I mean, seven leaf clover runs are meant to be pretty broken, but this is like absurd. <laughs> I look at this thing like by default, and then we use this and go. It must be something to do with the the, uh, the ammo flower. It's got to be. Oh, damn. I didn't see this enemy down here. Again, this goddamn curse of darkness. It's like, 
It's not even the Curse of Darkness itself. It's just, like, it is so dark. It's not, like, a little bit dark. It's like, if they're out of your vision range, you literally can't see them. Which is kind of the point, again. I'm not dissing the actual curse. I think it's a cool curse. It's just explaining my foibles with it. Um, I want to get this up to 60 as well. Okay, we are ready, I think. We are ready. That's a lot of lag, baby. Also, this guy just so happened to be jammed, which I'm not a fan of. This is actually going to be kind of rough because I the, the lag is is bad, really, really bad. Also, the screen shake from the explosions is bad. I love the way that we can just spawn a new table pretty much straight away. Second phase, good, good. Please just get me to a new floor where I don't have this Curse of Darkness. And I swear to God, game, if you give me Curse of Darkness on the next floor, I am going to fucking kick you in the head. I didn't think this through. Now I don't have a table for my my ultimate trick. One second, one second. Hold, hold on a minute. You stay right there, buddy. That did... That didn't one-cycle you? Are you mental? Are you... Are you okay? How does that not one-cycle? I will kill you with the power of tail. Why is he dying so slowly? The tables bested him. Right, let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, we have a chest we haven't seen yet? Hold up a minute, people. Hold up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Ex excuse me, this room? Could you be kinder, please? Everything's fucking jammed. I've only got 7.5 cares, and I'm getting, a, like, every single enemy jammed. There's quite a lot, I know, but, like, oh my god. I almost left the floor. Come on now, I almost left this floor. Uh, I don't have any water-based things, do I? Can't get the extra. I can definitely go in there, though. Let me do my uh, item room first, though. I'm using this because it doesn't need ammo. Wow, our first minute. Surprise, that's our first. Actually pretty good, Liquid Valkyrie. Hello, hello, good sir. I might come back for your magic bullets. I will see. See what we get from this shop first. Thank God I generated all that money before. Psycho Dust. 
There's Skeleton Key. Little bit too late game. Little bit too late. Bullet Sponge. Unfortunately, everything here is not great. I'll take Psycho Dust. Oh, that's an active. No, I won't. Um, take Bullet Sponge. What gun was I just holding? I wasn't holding the AK, was I? Oh, maybe, maybe I was, actually. Maybe I was. Balloon. Slime alert. Bunch of friends, I guess. Thermometer. Why not? Wait, what does Thermometer do again? I might not actually want this. That's a kind of cruddy version of this room, to be honest. Coolness increases damage. Okay. I don't know how much coolness we have right now. One. Hazard. We got a synergy with this gun. I didn't even know it was a thing. Damn. Damn. Why is I, why did I go old timey when I uh, flipped that table? Right, I will come in and get your magic bullets if I can still afford them. I cannot. Okay, we'll be we'll be leaving then, good sir. Thank you for your patronage. That was probably one of the worst ones of those black market rooms I've ever had. There was not really anything that was worth buying there. Like there was some okay stuff. Like the balloon is decent. The bullet sponge is probably okay. But like, eh. Comparing it to everything else in this room, which I know isn't at all fair. Not good enough. Not good enough. Anyways, it is time to destroy the Lich in a way that he has never, never come to see before. I just, I love this whole, just the series of events and items that it has cascaded to cause this synergy is quite incredible. <laughs> Really, it's really something. Uh, I don't really know what I want to be using, to be honest. From room to room. Back to the Basilisk, maybe? It's just very inaccurate is the only thing. Which is, obviously, kind of... What, what's, what's with the... What's with the old-timey effect? I don't like that. What, what's, what's this about? The balloon? I'm not sure. Is it table flipping? Apparently it's table flipping. I don't know why it's changed. Maybe it was doing it the whole time the last one and never, never realized. I, I honestly have no idea. Fucking curse of the flames again. God damn it. What the hell's doing that? I don't know. <laughs> it must be a synergy with one of the items I picked up recently. This is too much fire, game. This is too much fire. I repeat, this is too much fire. I have to go back to Stargun. It's just too good. Fills the entire ass room. We've got this weird, annoying thing where if you, like, blank... Like, if you, like, freeze time... So I, th I think flipping tables is freezing time. But if you freeze time as enemies spawn in, it breaks things. I'm guessing it's Liquid Valkyrie that's doing this. Oh, 
Let me just see. If I if I drop a table now, it does that. And if I drop Liquid Valkyrie, and then... Okay, yeah. I'm just going to leave Liquid Valkyrie, Valkyrie alone because it's messing me up. Oh! Bloody hell that gem shot got in there, didn't it? All this fucking fire. Dude. If the Lich is jammed, there is a chance we die. Like, this is a crazy run, but it's very hard to keep track of bullets. Every motherfucker is jammed, and there is fire fucking everywhere. So, I might not have a lot of health by the time I get to him. We shall see. I'm really not a fan at the minute of just how much fire is spawning on the goddamn doors. Dude, are you fucking kidding me with that shot? Really? Mm. Not happy right now. Not a happy camper. What the fuck is going on with this room? Like, actually, what the hell is this room? Is this room over yet or not? What the hell's going on? We need to get some health back there that I never saw. I'm gonna go grab that. Oh my god. Stressful. Why you gotta put goddamn fire right there? You put fire right there when I specifically asked you not to. The good thing is when we fire that amount of shots, devolver shots almost certainly kick in. That thing is going to spew out a thousand bullets. Thank you, little balloon or whatever popped there. God damn, that was scary. Excuse me? Excuse me? Where the fuck did you just go? Oh, there you are. You cheeky bastard, just dodged that. Cheeky fucker. Health, I appreciate. Crisis stone. Intriguing. Fucking really with the goddamn fire at my feet. Let's let's just say this. If a room is below a certain size, don't spawn fire in it. Because that's just gonna prevent a lot of issues. <laughs> That's just going to prevent a whole mess of problems. This is the Sam, Sam manual room. Oh. There's a jammed Sam manual here. Did you think you'd ever see it? I used a few blanks there that I probably shouldn't have, but we got one back. We're getting like the worst room as well here. Seems it just take a long time. How are you not dead? Buddy, chill out. Do you know what? The balloon friend has been very, very good. Very, very good. Everything dead? 
everything dead. Right, last few rooms. I'm on fire. Holy shit, debt hell, it's debt hell. Finally, okay. Get this thing out. Our tables are ready to go. Luckily, this version isn't jammed. He did manage to get a shot off on me, but I'm really surprised this isn't breaking DPS cap. Really, really surprised. Although that might, to be fair, it might just be that I'm lagging so much that I can't tell and it might well have been. Did this thing get up? Dude. Game. Okay, I'm going to be spawning some health back in for this. Thanks, never name. This is, this is real fun. <laughs> It hurt me through my armor. Yeah, that, that fire thing there. <laughs> It likes spawning wherever it can hurt me instantly. <laughs> How are you not dead yet, buddy? There you go. Amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely absurd run. On to a Roboros 4. We unlocked the Whisper. Very, very nice. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. A very, very fun one indeed. Wow. Probably my best run in a while. Probably my best run in a while. Either way, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.